What's going on guys and welcome back to Rocket Top Collectibles. Today we have a bunch of ghosts from the past. Super excited about these. I've opened up probably four display cases so far. Still have not pulled a ghost. Uh, so we have a bunch of these to open. Uh, but before that, I want to go over a few things that I've recently purchased. Uh, I've got a Dragon Ball GT 10, so obviously got this for $15.99. I think this was super cool. Wasn't a big fan of Dragon Ball GT. I've actually never really watched it. Uh, but I thought it was cool and... You know, I saw it and grabbed it. Uh, Vicious Rejuvenation Premium Pack Set. So you can still find these pretty cheap. And by pretty cheap, I mean anywhere from 100 to 135 140 bucks. Highly recommend these if you want to get into Dragon Ball or if you're a big fan of Dragon Ball. Uh, because these obviously come with 36 booster packs plus uh, 8 promos. Obviously it says 8 on there. So highly recommend getting these. Obviously they're not as beautiful as a booster box. Uh, but they're still really cool in my opinion. And then the last one I got, so it's a sealed case. I don't know if you can see it that much. It's the demo or DBZ demo decks. Uh, so obviously these are out of print because you know Bandai bought Dragon Ball or the rights to it for the card game, and Panini didn't. Which Panini didn't really make good products. Like the cards were trash, but uh, the uh, booster boxes do look really cool. So you can still get the booster boxes around fifty. And I bought this whole thing of it's twenty of the decks. You know, sealed panini case, and it was 25 bucks with free shipping on eBay. Uh, so if you like weird stuff, I'm in like this weird phase of ordering stuff that's like no longer in print. That's probably gonna have no value ever to it, but I still think it's really cool. So do what you guys want with your collecting, but hey, obviously you guys are here for Ghosts in the Past. So we're gonna get straight into it. Uh, so it's I haven't opened up a lot of Ghosts recently, just because um, obviously Ghost is pretty expensive right now. But, and it's, it, it's hard to find because people are scalping them. But they're super fun, beautiful cases. Uh, you, if you don't really get a ghost, there's not really a whole lot of value to it because you have, you know, evenly matched is like 13 bucks. And then everything after that is, you know, like pretty cheap. So, okay. So we start with a pretty cool card. I, I don't, I've opened up a bunch. I don't know if I pulled that one, but hey, I love the reprints. Cosmo, let me scoot it up a little bit for you guys. There we go. Sunsea Genesis, Gal Galaxy Eye Cipher, and a Dragoonity Whirlwind. So yeah, I haven't opened these since release, or maybe about a week after release. Uh, I do think um, if you guys are going to stock up on some product, you know, as like an investment, I definitely would grab Ghosts right now, because I think around fall they're going to be pretty expensive, and then after that they're going to keep going up. Just because there's awesome. I mean, you got a Ghost. Uh, you know, blue eyes alternate, and then obviously you got the ghost. Hold on, there we go. The ghost dark magician. So highly recommend it, guys. Or if you're looking for investment, Misty Valley, Metal Foes Counter, and a Shooting Star. And they're fun to open. Same with uh, the. Pretty cool. Where are we at? The maximum gold. I knew I had one next to me. Stock up on those guys. You can find those. I see those like every time I walk into the store. I see maximum gold on the shelf just because people aren't buying it. Uh, it's really not, you know, I think that what is the the blue eyes in it? Maybe like 25, 30 bucks. But, you know, as an investment stamp piece, because obviously I really like doing a lot of investment pieces, I think that's a good one because if you look at what the other uh, gold series have done in the past, they do pretty well. Galaxy Eye Cipher, Splash Mage, and a Raid Raptor. All right, so we are struck out on the very first box that's okay we already know these ghosts are crazy hard to pull and you know what kind of stinks about it too is like the dark magician or the other ghosts have had pretty bad print defects and if you don't know what i'm talking about uh go online and just look at the print defects like some of them are just it's atrocious some of the dark magicians have these like weird it looks kind of like a paw print on it uh so obviously it makes it basically ungradable and then I've just seen some like I don't know if they're ink smears or or what on some of the other ones, but it's just not. It's, it's really unfortunate, is what it is, because it's like you have these extremely hard cards to pull. You have people chasing it, so you know people are dumping a lot of money, and then you just don't have. You're not putting out the product. Which, if you guys watch or see any sports stuff, you know we're about to start getting a lot more involved on sports on the channel. Um, then you'll, you'll know what we're talking about with Panini's bad product. 
So a lot of these I don't even recognize anymore just because it's been so long since I've opened it, or feels so long since I've opened it. And I've been having a lot more fun with Dragon Ball. I've opened so much Dragon Ball. I need to post some videos. All right, Mist Valley, baby. The Monarch. Son of Alon. And an XY Burst. Lava Archer. But they're beautiful cards. It's kind of like I went on a run with, uh, you know, chasing the 10,000 Dragon. Didn't get it. Got the Utopia, which still very happy for. And I didn't drop a whole lot into uh, the set. I wish I would have held some. I really wish I would have. Uh, grab some more booster boxes and just held on to them. Update Jammer. I don't think we've had a uh, a reprint set yet either for uh, Armageddon. Salvage. And a Starry Knight. 0 for 2, guys. And I don't even think I've got an evenly matched to try to make back you know, something for uh, for these boxes. I couldn't even tell you what the second most you know valuable card is. Because, you know, when you're chasing, uh, kind of like we're doing now, I mean, you want to make something back. Otherwise, you just start digging that hole, you know. But, gosh, I want to pull, pull a ghost so stinking bad. It's going to It's gonna happen. Eventually. Might not be this set. Might be the next ghost set. These things are got some stuff on them. All right, so we're, this is box number three. We're almost, uh, well, I guess basically this is the halfway point. I can get these packs open. You know, some of the other YouTubers are just killing cases. Killing the cases for the ghosts. Metal Foes. Heretic Seal. Heretic Dragon. And a Starry Night Ceremony. Alright. Come on, ghosts. I know you're hiding somewhere. I have a ton of these. The problem is, like, the longer they sit here, the, uh, the more I'm just going to want to open them chasing this. These MFers, Time Thief. Another Time Thief. Son of Alon. Dragoonity. And another Dragoonity. So, I've also, you know, I've pulled Starlights. I've never, ever pulled a Ghost in any... I didn't I didn't really open Raw, though. Um, so, didn't chase any of that. Didn't chase any other Ghosts in the past. From the past. But we'll see. Ooh. Heretic Dragon. Metal Foes Fusion. Mask Change. And a Shooting Star. Alright, down to two. Down to two. Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Have you guys pulled a ghost? Have you given up on ghosts? Um, you know, what are you guys thinking? I can get this open. Because, you know, it's just, it's just like Pokemon. Like you got Charizard. You want to pull a Charizard. And then once you pull it, do you stop? Some people stop. Some people don't. Um, I haven't opened up any Shining Fates since I've pulled a Charizard. But I never pulled one from Champion's Path, that's for sure. And I I went hard in the paint on Champion's Path. Which, it's all right. Time Thief, Son of Alon, Dragoonity, Heretic, and a Lavalo Salamander. I'm curious. I don't know if there's been any... I need to look if there's been any PSA 10s yet um, for the Dark Magician. I'm sure there's been at least one. Because, you know, not all of the prints have been terrible. Ooh, okay. Got our DDS reprint. Awesome card. Not really... Anything special, but it's cool, you know, for memories. Evil Thorn. And a red Supernova Dragon, so that's not a bad one to have. Definitely not as much as it was originally. I think it was like a I think it was the most expensive card there for a minute. Uh, and then it kind of fell off. Alright, Resonator. Salama Great. Terror of Trish. Metal Foes and. Dragoonity Delegas, also not a bad one. Alright guys, we're down to the last box. The very last box that's sitting on the table. Let's see if we can pull 
this rare that's a ghost. All these packs are all all tore up. I don't think any of the local card shops here have gotten any of these things either. Not since uh, release day. I pretty much you're limited to buying them on TCG or to finding them at Walmart. Which sometimes happens, Gear Town. Son of a lawn. And then there were two. Come on. Alright, Sun Sunvine Healer. Time Thief. Another Hyo. Cosmo. And a Meteor Black Comet. Super cool card. Alright. Let's get it. Let's get some last pack magic, guys. Wish me some luck in the comments. Metal Foes, Heretic Seal, Heretic Dragon, and Heretic Sun Dragon. Ooh, and a Hell Shadow Hollow. So we did not get a ghost this time. But hey, we can't have heaters, you know, every time. The chase continues, guys. Uh, so definitely like, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And hey, good luck out there.